Hello, my beautiful friends. If you have missed me as much as I have missed you, please sit down, relax, and let's have a little bit of chat. Let's have some arty session together. Let's just have a lovely time with each other. Welcome to my studio. Welcome on my desk uh, where I am about to make some gorgeous spread, a uh, very much different to what we have done recently. A little bit of art journaling, a little bit of watercolor doodling, something abstract, Basically, what you have to do is just grab your supplies. Please do get some supplies, sit down, relax, and let's make some beautiful art with each other. Something that will just uh, be kind on your mind, something that will ease your mind, that will relax you, that will give you this sense of creativity, but also no pressure because you can just do whatever you like, however it feels. And I would love to update you as well on what has been happening for the past few weeks. If you're following me long enough, you know that um, we've been in Poland uh, the last month, very long, difficult, emotional, stressful and beautiful last four weeks being in Poland. We visited our relatives uh, because uh, Lucas's mom, my husband's mom, my beautiful mom-in-law is not well and it was our time to to go to help out, to be with her in the hospital, to to support the family, to see mom, to hug everyone and just spend time with each other. As much as it was beautiful time, it was also such a difficult time. Nobody in life is preparing us for these things, for the relative, for your loved ones to be sick, to, to, you don't know, you just don't know what to do, what to say, how to react, what, what to do, honestly, like, it has been such a lesson of life as well, uh, seeing my parents uh, that are getting older, leaving them behind, coming back to Ireland has been such a difficult uh, time, such a difficult moments we had in the last few weeks. I must say, being abroad, nobody feels uh, this better than those who have been abroad. If you never lived far from your loved ones, I don't think it's possible to really explain the the feeling of longing to your home at the same time you have home here. It's such a difficult uh, feeling, but uh, most importantly, super difficult is to see your loved ones needing you and you're not there. Um, let me just go back to the project for just two seconds. I don't think I will be chatting much to you about what I'm doing right now because truth to be told, I'm clueless of what I'm doing. I just grabbed some watercolor paints. Uh, the one that you see in front on the top, those are handmade watercolor pa paints from different brands. Uh, on the right, those are Daniel Smith, I think, but I have been using only the top part, which are watercolor paints from Germany, actually. Funny enough, uh, both of these left uh, the shiny ones and the right one, uh, both are handmade in Europe. I have been just playing with the pigment, just trying to relax my mind and that spread was uh, created, painted before we were leaving to Poland, possibly maybe two days even before and this was meant to be posted while I was in Poland but honestly we have been up and down in the hospital once, twice, three times a day sometimes and altogether there was just no time, no physical feel for doing work honestly like no time no energy or there was no head for it like the amount of conversation we had with our um, brothers and sisters the amount of important stuff that has been happening was just so overwhelming that thinking of work was just not an option and even editing i knew that if i edit stuff with music only you will feel like you're missing my voice you will feel that you're lacking something and me too honestly but i had plenty of footage pre-recorded for both channels in case you don't know this is my uh, main um, first uh, youtube channel that i created marmi small art but there's also a new youtube channel that i only started four months ago and it's called marmi simple craft i advise you to check it out because it's full of watercolors drawing painting and it's just completely different to what you see on this channel so i'll give you the link of course marmi simple craft um so honestly i had plenty of footage for both channels and i can't believe it that not even half of it not even one third had been edited while i was in poland because 
I was just sometimes sitting down thinking, either I'm going to sit down now and just edit everything, and I even took microphone for the voiceovers, or I'm going to just sit down and hug my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, and just be with them here in the moment, and we just talk about stuff and uh, life in general and how hard it is, and if I can give them my presence and Lucas as well, that's what it's going to happen. So honestly, we just abandoned a little bit work because there are moments in life that you just have to make decision what's more important and you prioritize and being with your loved ones was our priority. This is why we left for Poland for a month to be there with them, to support them, to of course be with mom, to be with my parents as well. Uh, but basically as well to, to support those who are there, who had been minding Lucas's mom for the past four, five, four months, uh, to give them a little bit of a break, to hug them, to just tell them you're doing great and you're not alone. Um, little to be said, but how important, I guess. Um, this video possibly it's not the most arty video because I'm talking about the importance of life existence life and death and the family and how life can just take turns and be difficult uh, rather than talk about art but honestly over the years I've been doing stuff on this channel that you've been appreciated so appreciating so I really hope that this time this chat even though I'm not saying of what I'm doing right now on this screen I hope that the chat in general will bring some comfort to some of you or maybe some sort of reflection on life for all of you. I guess my big lesson from visiting relatives in Poland is like enjoy every moment, be there for them, um, don't waste time for silly stuff, don't argue. Uh, even like the whole month, the whole four weeks with Lucas, not even once we have argued. I was quite amazed, not even once. And I'm telling you, times have been difficult, the conversation have been tough, the situation with we they were challenging the kids were challenging as well because when you are not in your own home but you are on the rented apartments you're visiting you're visiting the hospitals you you eating on the way everything is on top of you know it like things are not normal the whole month was not normal and i'm so happy that we've managed with lucas to just just do it just get on with it and just doing great and i said it at the end when we were leaving for for ireland i said lucas we are a great team. We did it. We've done what we could have. We supported each other and we just did our absolute best. And we have um, a clear mind, clear, clear heart that we've done what we could have. Hopefully um, we will be able to go again for a while and just to be there with them. Um, however, it is not easy to plan everything, to be away uh, for such a long time, cost-wise, time-wise, kids-wise, everything-wise, work-wise. Um, I'm glad that we are back. I'm glad that I can chat with you and tell you honestly how things have been. The month was very difficult. And before we left for Poland, Lucas was already in Poland for three weeks on his own. And then we came for, a for a Easter. So ultimately we've been away quite a lot and I've been in between trying to work between two YouTube channels trying to <laughs> make it work make it happen work ahead be creative at the same time uh, funny enough this uh, whole situation was quite good for my a creative side because I think I was running away towards my art it was such a balmon for me that I was actually delighted that I can sit down at the desk and record ahead and pl pl play as much as I can and paint as much as I can so that I can have footage for you but also it was easing my mind back then because getting ready for a whole month being away with two two girls uh like the packing the the work ahead what you're gonna bring what things are gonna happen back then uh where we're gonna stay we ha had to rent uh, apartments for the whole month being away in poland in different towns it was just such a such a challenging and time consuming and busy time you know uh, and i'm glad to for now that we can just slightly sit down relax i I can now sit down with you and just record this, chat with you, upload the video. Uh, Hannah is outside uh, enjoying 
her friends so very much on the green. She missed them for a month, of course. Emily, the second we came back, well, we came back in the night uh, on Sunday, but sa- Monday morning she was run off to her friends as well, playing komogi, which is Irish sort of um, traditional sport, playing football as well, as well with the boys and girls. They met with each other on the on the pitch so life went back to normal however me and Lucas we kind of honestly we we are really it's it's a little bit difficult to get back to routine to know what to do uh, and I said Lucas I don't know what to do I, I one thing I know for sure is that I need to record this voiceover I would love everyone to hear what's going on I would love to sit down and just in the relaxed way just chill talk and show a little bit of art and as I have mentioned before I'm not telling you what I'm doing here because this was just a pure experiment pure freedom of using my supplies and just not really wondering of what I'm doing all I knew is that I want some blobs of color and the earthy kind of um, colors yeah (laughs) earthy colors a little bit of doodling maybe gold as you can see as the accents and that's kind of the plan nothing too se- too serious nothing too complicated yet such a beautiful page i think art journaling in the watercolor version i really loved this and i think in the next coming days weeks i really would love to follow up on this subject because i think it's such a beautiful spread such a great technique to learn to enjoy a little bit of uh, freedom of art journaling without gluing down without a uh, scrapbook side of it without mixed media ish sort of way as I always have been doing but actually using my my pens my paints my 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 crayons whatever I'm in love with paints recently and if you check the other YouTube channel marry me simple craft you will see how much I have painted over the past four months there's over 130 videos all together with shorts within three four months only like it's a super short amount of time and I've managed so many beautiful different videos go and check it out you will absolutely love it I promise you if you didn't know that it's existing actually um, I think I'm gonna be finishing here and I I really hope that this little chat was something as good as special as it feels for me I hope it's feeling good for you as well to hear from me girls are great uh, Lucas is if he, if I can say he's okay, he is. You have to come to terms as well that life is not forever. Things are tough and we're going to be meeting different challenges. And our parents are super important to us. So I really hope and pray we will have many more chances to go and see them. Uh, but for now, I would love to invite you to do a little bit of our journaling with doodles. Don't be afraid to just do simple leaves, simple colors, just play with it don't overthink uh, uh, here I wasn't talking in the video because I really sat down and I just played I just played with the pigment with the supplies that I had around me honestly and I would love you to try it as well something as simple as that can be such a therapeutic for you um, let me know your thoughts let me know honestly <laughs> This YouTube channel has been <laughs> has been quiet, I have to say. So if I can ask you the biggest favor ever, if you could leave me some supportive comment uh, about what I have told you, I would so much appreciate it. I would love to hear some words from you. I think I need that this time. I think I need some balm from you guys. Tell me that things have been okay with you over there, wherever you are in the world. I really need to hear this. So leave me some comments. I will appreciate that. And I cannot wait to hear from you. Thank you so much for being with me as always.